I'm trying to look professional. <laughs> trying to look like you know what we're doing. Well, we don't do this very often. Hi, this is Kristen with an ALS 411 on adaptive clothing. I'll show you some things that we've learned throughout the decade plus of Todd's ALS. When he was first diagnosed, one of the things he had trouble with was putting on his pants. And so we got these adaptive pants from Buck and Buck and they have elastic. And then he attached a string to the zipper so he could pull them up more easily. He also had trouble buttoning buttons and at the ALS clinic, they gave him a, it looked kind of like a needle threader tool to button his buttons. Once he got in a wheelchair, we had to find some new solutions. We had someone fix his adaptive pants, or some of them, with Velcro so that he could, we could set them down on the wheelchair and then put them around him and snap them up. So that's what he still uses today if he wants to dress up. We had the seamstress who was altering also do a pair of corduroy pants with the Velcro. Now, if you're looking for something that is ready-made without having to have a seamstress do altering, you can search for tearaway pants. Um, these ones are more daily wear, and you can look on Amazon for things like basketball tearaway pants, or um, snap button track pants. They also have tearaway underwear. I was looking for some links and found a bunch of tearaway pants. I find the back of the pants, put them towards the back of the chair, spread them out, and then I lower Todd with the lift into his chair, pull up the pants, And then snap them in place. Now sometimes if we're in a hurry to go out um, and Todd just has shorts on, I'll just put these um, kind of over him and then snap up the legs and bunch part of it up so he's actually kind of fake wearing pants and it works. Since Todd's been in a wheelchair, we've had to worry about moisture control and one thing that's been helpful is dry fit shorts. He skips the underwear and just wears oversized shorts that um, allow the skin to um, be in better shape, moisture control, it wicks the moisture away. And then also we get them oversized so they're easier to get on and off when he's in the sling on the toilet. We can pull them on and off much easier. So these I think are a generic brand. I found the um, Nike Under Armour name brand dry fit shorts work really well as well. For his shirts, we just do cotton t-shirts. They're more comfortable. He noticed the dry fit shorts are too slippery with the wheelchair. So we just do cotton t-shirts and we get these oversized too. If he wants to dress up, we had the seamstress, a seamstress put this slit up the back of several of his dress shirts so I can get them over his head easier. With the, the shirt, I just put this on him when he's in the wheelchair and I just tuck it around him. So the slit helps. It's much trickier to get on a shirt that doesn't have stretch without, without the slit. Or sometimes just a extra big polo shirt works too.
Now for jackets, we got a variety of very lightweight um, winter jackets, depending on the temperature. And we've found that if he's in the wheelchair, I just put them on with his arms in. And tuck it in around him, and then he's good to go. Alternatively, there's this poncho, also from Buck and Buck, and this can just go over him and around him. Now, on really cold days, or if he's going to be outside for an extended amount of time, or in a cold environment like hockey games, he'll sometimes wear this this vest. It's a heated vest and it has a battery pack that you just plug in to charge. It does get quite warm though, so he finds that for short runs to um, church or the doctors or somewhere, he doesn't need the vest. He'd prefer to just wear a jacket. He wears a light stocking cap when it's cold so he can still control his wheelchair. And then for shoes, he just wears heelless shoes or slippers that I just picked up at Walmart. They're oversized, so they slide on easily, or if his feet are a little swollen, they'll still fit. I think that's pretty much what we've done adaptive clothing-wise. Many days, if he's cold, he'll just wear shorts and then a lap blanket over his lap, and he's more comfortable that way if he's in his office. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and give our video a like if it was helpful, share the video, and if you have any ideas for adaptive clothing as to what has worked for you, please share in comments below. We'll see you next time.